welcome back to Pretty Scary Buttes and the weirdest tutorial I've ever done and probably the weirdest tutorial you've ever seen. Keep watching! So welcome to the world's weirdest tutorial. The first thing you want to do is create your teeth for your monster boobs. So I'm using polymorph plastic. It's small pellets that you put in boiling water and then it goes to a soft pliable plastic that you can mould. I mix some scraped off chalk pastel with it to give it a yellow tone, rolled it into a sausage, flattened it out and then cut out the teeth shapes. Once it cools down it rehardens, and there you go, you have teeth. Or rather your boobs have teeth. And then the next thing I did was make the tongues for the mouth. So I took some kitchen foil, just plain old common garden and the aluminium foil. Just molded that into a basic tongue shape, two in fact. And then I applied some latex and cotton wool over that armature to create the texture on the tongue. So basically just cover with a thin layer of cotton wool and put plenty of latex on to seal it all in and mould it onto that foil. Smooth it down with your fingers. And you can also use a tool if you need to as well to further smooth that down. And then once you were happy with that, take one of the teeth and use that to create the tongue texture. So just use the pointed end and just dot that all over the tongue. And then repeat exactly the same for the second tongue. You don't have to use do tongues for your monster mouths, you could just do teeth if you prefer. You can leave this step out, but I just wanted them to be extra nasty and extra weird. I then use alcohol paint to paint my tongues. If you don't have alcohol paint, you can just as easily use face paint or you can use acrylic paint or makeup, a red lipstick, some eyeshadow mixed with water, whatever you happen to have will work. So I just painted red all over the tongue, first of all, to give a nice base tone and then stippled on some extra red. You don't want the colour to look too solid because then it will look a lot more realistic if it's not solid. So don't just paint them like a solid red. Unless you want your mouths to look like cartoon mouths, in which case go ahead and paint them a solid red. So once I had put the red layers on, I went in with a little bit of yellow. I wanted my monster mouth to look really gnarly and nasty, so yeah. A little bit of yellow and then a little bit of blue mixed with red to create a nice greyish purple tone and I just stippled that all over as well just to give a little bit of extra nastiness to those monster tongues. I then painted a little bit of extra yellow onto the teeth because I didn't feel they were quite yellow enough. But again, you can skip this step if you like. You could even have white teeth for your monster mouths. Depends how much your monster mouths brush their teeth, I guess. Right, once you have all your teeth and your tongues done, you want to take a couple of pieces of muslin cloth. So I just cut them into rough mouth shapes and then using some water-based face paints, I painted the basic inside of the monster mouth this is going to be the inside of your monster mouth basically. You'll see what I mean once you see the next bit of the tutorial. Looks a bit strange at the moment. So there you go. So you stick it over your nipples basically so that you create the inside of the monster mouth. And then to create the lips and gums you want to use more of that cotton wool and latex. So just apply a little bit of latex first of all and then stick down the cotton wool and then using more latex on that cotton wool just saturate it so that you can mould the edges of the mouths. I'm just using my good old trusty spatula to do this, you can use your fingers though if you don't have that. Once you've moulded the edges of the mouths and you're happy with them then just let them dry before you go on to the next step. Obviously repeat the same on the other side. When 
you're waiting for this to dry, you can just paint the insides of the mouth a little bit deeper in that middle part, just to make it look like the mouth is, you know, receding inwards, basically. So a little bit of depth there. And then you want to start putting your teeth on. I'm not gonna lie, this step was a little bit fiddly. I tried just sticking it on with a little bit of glue, first of all, but this wasn't quite enough. So in the end, I went over with extra layers of latex and cotton wool, just to really stick those teeth in there. I also went over with an extra layer of the muslin cloth, just cut that to size, and then just stick that down with more latex. Use the end of a brush to really get in between those teeth and make sure those teeth are really secured down. And as always, just repeat exactly the same on the other side of the mouth and on the other mouth. Latex is dry, you need to paint it. So, I am painting this with some water based face paint. Just starting off with a pink just to give a nice base tone to the edges of the mouth. These are the gums basically. And then going in with some red just between those teeth. You can paint your monster mouth however you like. You can do it more of a zombie monster mouth so it can be all sort of greys and yellows and greens. I went for a more realistic tone. Just painting around the edge of that mouth as well with some red and doing exactly the same on the other side. I was happy with that and it had dried I just put yet another layer of the muslin cloth to create kind of lips to the monster mouths I don't know about you but this tutorial is just the weirdest thing so I don't know whether you agree with me if you do agree that this is probably the weirdest makeup tutorial you've ever seen then please comment down below and let me know <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, just um, putting loads of latex on that muslin cloth to mold it into those lip shapes. And then as always, just repeating the same thing on the other side and letting the latex dry before painting it. dry onto the painting so I use some alcohol tones to give a nice stippled red effect first of all before I paint it over with some flesh tone this just means that the flesh tone isn't too flat because your skin tone has lots of different colors in it so then I went over the, the top of that with some foundation and like I said that red stippling underneath just means that it doesn't look too flat and this is the final stage. Once you've painted the edges of that monster mouth, you are done. If you have enjoyed seeing me turn my boobs into monster mouths, then please give this video a massive thumbs up or just thumbs it up if you think this is the weirdest thing you've ever seen, which it probably is. And comment down below, let, let me know what you thought and subscribe if you haven't already because there's plenty more weirdness like this coming your way thank you for watching love you all bye bye